today's video, we've got a special treat for you in our film study segment. We are going back to really the game, in my opinion, that really took Skimbo from a, a competitor to a champion, obviously. Uh, as this is a him versus problem. This is Madden 17, okay? Madden 17 Championship. We're kicking off here. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you take your game to the next level, to help you improve in Madden NFL football, uh, specifically in Madden 20 and in Madden 21 right now, uh, because those are the popular games. But I wanted to break down this film study. This is what we can learn from the pro players. You know, what do we learn from them, and what do they teach us? And this specific game is against Skim Skimbo is the Patriots. Problem right is the 49ers. Um, and so we're going to break this down here. But before we do, I want to encourage you, if you want to stay up to date with the majority of my uh, content posted on my channel, I want you to just click join the Discord. That link is in the description. That is the best way to get involved in my community. It's the ability to not only get to know me, but you get to know everybody in my community just by clicking that one link. And it's also where I post all of my content. I put everything in there for you guys so that we can have conversations and stuff like that. So if that interests you, jump in the Discord. Now, this is classic Skimbo problem matchup. Uh, it's classic Skimbo problem matchup because this was back when the Z spot was one of the better uh, passing concepts in the game. And, and really, it's just changed skins right now. This year in Madden uh, 21 and in Madden 20, it's deep corner. Um, and you got corner strike and all these other uh, stimming type of routes that you're going to see uh, Skimbo use. Problem is running his nickel blitz, right? Nickel blitz setup. Again, this is a very good, you know, six, send six, get two free. And so uh, he's going to stand in here with the gap. He's got cover two on the outside. He's got the guys here. And then he's just going to have the really solid lurk here. So you're going to see we're going to get that double edge pressure. Skimbo's running some fades. Uh, streaks and you see here he's going to check down now this is where skimbo is going to start to um really master his reads you know this is what i want to talk about specifically is what you're going to find here with these really really elite players the scheme innovation they're not doing a ton of stuff that is super super innovative in my opinion right we're running bunch and we're running nickel blitz right we've seen this once we've seen it all the time but and you see obviously their fingers you know clicking 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 making all these adjustments right but what skimbo has done and here you see he's going to hit him over the top with the stock fade this is just a phenomenal read by skimbo right here so he's got this fade on the left side he's going to get over the top and dot now this is this is what i want you to hear me say skimbo has mastered his reads Part of being an elite Madden player, especially if you're going to be an elite passer, is you have to learn how to master your progression reads. Um, it, it really is true. It's almost as simple or as complicated as that. You know, passing concepts, once you find the concepts that work, you've got to master your reads. And uh, no better example of that than Michael Skimbo, especially in this season, um, in this season of Madden football. Now, problem, very, very similar on defense. He is... These guys are robots. They are generally going to do the same basic setup every single time, and they're going to execute it just better than everybody else. That's that's one of the things that makes these guys elite. And part of what I think you know holds people back from being elite is they don't actually master the plays that they are talking about. You know, this part of you know something that I've got to grow in. You know, when you know a lot about the game and you study and practice and play the game a lot, sometimes your uh, creativity can almost be a work against you because you can become you can start doing all these things, and before before long you realize that you're so far you know up another direction that you've lacked focus. Now let's break down problem rights offense here on. So Skimbo goes up 7-0, one possession. Skimbo does exactly what he's supposed to do. Now, problem in this year, he's running this little compressed set, and he he's going to want to work this dive in combination with these streaks. And this this year specifically, um, it was more of a kind of similar almost to Madden 20, where you know you could run the ball a little bit. You could also throw those interior streaks, and it was also a heavy pressure type of meta year. Nickel Blitz 2 was the go-to defense for the majority of the year. Um, here you're going to see Problem is going to sit in this snugs. Now, again, he's going to want to hit these couple streaks right in here. He's got a little drag underneath. 
see here there's that streak skimbo has to go to the user and he's going to take that drag right drag streak combos have always been a thing the reason i wanted to do this as we're getting ready to head into madden 21 is i want to take a look back at elite players and i want to show you how every single year it's kind of the same thing right you're going to have a three-headed rushing attack you're going to have a, a, a route that's going to be able to have to be user you know skimbo is working out of this three two six but it's that same meta right send six send five right and then you're going to drop off with two see here he's sending those edge pressures problem misses the read actually doesn't really miss the read the running back just didn't animate but there you got to click on and make that play for problem in my opinion so here that brings up a third and ten so now you see um, skimbo is still in that 326 trying to get that delayed rush this is phenomenal pressure from michael skimbo though right here this was great 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 pressure watch this guy right here it's going to come completely clean at the quarterback snap of the ball just gets that good looping pressure and he's able to get that pressure in on problem problem it probably some slide protection and things like that the problem was trying to do to get that edge picked up but because skimbo's sending five six people at the quarterback it's going to allow him to get you know even better pressure uh, at the quarterback all right so fourth down 10 to go problem goes to a little trip set and I think he just had a little bit of an issue with his um, his user on that, and Skimbo's able to get one stop. And the way Skimbo's offense was playing, if he got one stop, it was money. Now, again, he's just mastered his reads, right? He knows what a hard flat is going to look like on that left side. If there's no hard flat, he's throwing that Ricky Williams route every single time. It's that consistent for Skimbo. Part of understanding good offense, good offensive play, is you have to have to have to take what the defense gives you if you are not willing to take the underneath you will never be an elite passer in Madden at least not anymore right we've seen a lot of people want to throw bombs but you'll watch here the elite of the elite they're taking their little quick flat little quick drag right here watch and then he's able to hit that corner right on that right side because he's able to take those underneath routes it forces problem to have to play um, hard flats if he's going to want to take away those underneath this meta this flat route corner route dr streak route drag route meta has always been in madden every good offense has this this is just simple basic football it's spacing it's very simply just spacing concepts within routes route combinations that are allowing you to open up those windows to throw the ball you're going to see this a lot in madden 21 i guarantee you passing is going to be much much more like it was in 17 18 and 19 than what it was in 20 uh man 20 i guarantee you that you're going to see the flat routes are going to be critical to take the flat routes interior streaks you see here just a little flood to the right and um skimba does a good job of taking that little cross he he literally is crossing three routes to the right side so problem has to jump to one of them he can't take all of them because those underneath zones if he plays underneath with the zones then skimbo can hit him over the top with the streak so a lot of it is just about calling the right play at the right time here's that wheel route on that left side takes that little underneath crossing route he's got the streak he's got the wheel route and he's got the crossing route right how many times have you seen this play from bunch they go with the streaks it's just simple four verticals concept and then that little uh crossing drag route is kind of like a little check down check down read here you're going to see there's that clear out play that skimbo loves to run in the red zone he's got the post route he should have been able to hit that streak but just just hit it just a little bit too late on that play and what you'll see here uh, problem starting to um, send the goons now to me problem is a master absolute master at again choosing what he's going to give up because he knows so much about the, the game so here's the pressure here he's got the flat there forces skimbo to throw into coverage and almost gets a pick here you see scum uh, uh, problems sponsors here but again you see right there up the seam and skimbo because he's got because problems running that cover two on the outside you can't hit the corner you can't hit the corner route so skimbo has to go back to the middle of the field here same thing here he's going corner strike now if skimbo or if problem um you got the little drag here underneath he should hit that drag yep because problem's not running hard flats but and what you'll see what you'll see in madden 21 is that drag route will be much 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 more open than it's been in madden 20. 
because the way the changes they're going to make to the game, I guarantee you, you're going to be able to throw underneath more. Every good passing offense, I want to reiterate iterate this as much as I possibly can. Every great passing offense is willing to take the quick underneath routes. It's not the big play that is going to win you $100,000. It is taking the, it is the jabs after the jab, after the jab, after the jab, and then you go with the right hook. Here, problem, or Skimbo's able to get in. Here, we're just recapping a little bit about that first quarter. Let's get up here. Let's get move forward here up to the second quarter. Got some advertisements there. This is the Madden 17 championship. So here, first and goal, going to that wheel route setup, snap the ball, jump, and problem gets that nice LB swat. Great move by him. And you'll see Skimbo is going to run this consistently. He runs it again on second down. And again, knowing Skimbo's a robot. Skimbo's a robot. He's going to do the same thing every time. So problem knowing that kind of knows the defense. Skimbo's got other open reads. And this is where one of the things I think Skimbo does have to grow in a little bit here. You see A is wide open, but he just keeps forcing this route. Now, again, that's his system. That's his game plan. But there's no read there. And I want to see I want to see him. You know, Skimbo has a really unique ability. I think his progression reads are one of the best in the game. But not able to get in from the five-yard line there. He does need to go up two possessions. That's why he's kicking this field goal. Again, uh, Skimbo played a little bit conservative there. I would have liked to see him run the ball uh, three times just on the goal line to see if he can get that in. Because based on his decision that he's going to take three, he's really only trying to go up two possessions, which is exactly what he does here. And now he's got to lock up. Um, he has to uh, lock up. So problem just going to take the ball to 20 here. Coming out in this little wing trio, uh, again, looking to throw streaks, looking to pick up some pressure. He's got four streaks on the field, doesn't hit one of them. I just don't like that read. Like that route combination just to me was not, not where it needed to be. Problem's going to come back into gun tight offset. That's where he's more comfortable. Um, that's where he's got better route combinations, in my opinion. This play right here, and you're going to see he's going to work the streak to the drag, streak to the drag over and over again. Literally over and over again. Um, you're going to see this in Madden 21, right? You're going to work levels. You're going to work levels. You're going to work uh, four verticals. You're going to work mesh concepts. You're going to work all of those basic football concepts that always work because when you can throw the underneath flat, the underneath flat, the underneath drag, the underneath crossing, the, other, the underneath it, hitches, the zigs, the outs, all of those underneath routes, it forces the defense to come down and it's going to then open up your deep streaks, your deep vertical plays that problem really wants to run. Skimbo is playing basically safe and saying, problem, take the underneath. Take the underneath, take the underneath, take the underneath. The defensive chess match is you're going to force them to take routes, take specific types of routes. What are you going to give up, right? You're going to give up something. you got to ask yourself, what are you going to give up? Am I willing to give up a 30-yard streak over the right side or am I willing to give up a 5-yard drag route, right? But if you're a good offensive player, you're willing to take that five-yard drag route. And there you see problems able to pop up a run there with, uh, with ProSize on that DB Fire 2 press. And again here, what you're seeing is, you know, just masterful chess match, masterful execution, right? These guys are so disciplined, sticking to their game plan. Problem here is going to come out back in that tight offset, tight end. And again, if he's the play he's most comfortable is in this street play. This uh, PA seams with the drag underneath. There's the drag wide open. Playmakers him up. And there, Skimbo blows a coverage and problem. Can't capitalize. He saw it, but just could not capitalize on that one. This is a huge miss. You see right here, Skimbo's user takes off of him. And problem hits him over top. And, oh, man. And you see Skimbo's facial expression because he knows he almost gave up a touchdown on that play. Done tight offset tight end again for problem. Looking to hit the streak right up the seam. Nope, but he gets that little route to precise out of the backfield and able to get that. Again, that underneath, 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 underneath. And I think problem's running the Saints playbook. Pretty sure. So he's got the wheel route here to beat man to man. He's got that underneath. He's got this little direct streak that he's going to try to hit. If everything goes south, he's got that backside dig. There he's got the drag, clicks on, and Skimbo does a good job of swatting that ball right out of Problem's hands. Now Problem being in field goal range, right? We got third down. And you'll see here on this big third and ten. 
So Skimbo just kind of back off into some coverage defense and give up the underneath and basically forcing Problem to take his three. But Problem will pull within one possession, so he should take the three here. Yep, pulls into one possession. Now Skimbo's coming out. He's got a minute 49, no timeouts, right? Good timeout work on the clock management side of things. And now he's going to go to work on offense. He's got a, enough time for a good possession here. Problem with the user. And you see here, if you guys actually go back and, 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 and take a look here, this C route, watch Problem's user. He's trying to, to basically force Skimbo to not throw this, and then he's going to jump back over here. Skimbo's doing a good job of having just enough spacing that Problem can't take both away. He can't get to, he can't take the in and the, the he can't take the flat route and the in route. Here, Skimbo's going to go max protect. He's going to go to verticals. He's got this little stock fade on the left side that does a really good job of getting over the top. But uh, looks like right there he just misses, misses Demarius Thomas. And you see the, the frustration on his face on that one right there. I mean, he just misses him. And you'll actually see that come back up to come back up in the uh, later on in the, in the game. Again, speed is so, so critical. Being able to get over the top of the defense really forces um, a lot of different types of strategies here. Here's you got the streak, you got the corner route. Here's the pressure coming here right off the side here. Let's see what he does here to block. He's going to block to try to pick it up. He's got this little underneath route here. And running back whiffs and problems able to get the pressure in. Big defensive lockup right there. And now here, this is what makes problems so effective. Problem has and has had for years great defense, great special teams. He's got great stick. Going to get that spin move right in there. Gets out of here and then spins back inside, able to set himself up. Now he can go down, either get seven or get three. Going right in. And this is how you know this is his play, right? This is his play. They're just terrible. I mean, I just I don't, I don't get how that happened. That's Julio Jones drops a wide open, wide open pass. But his play, this is problem, right? When he runs his crosser, he's going to playmaker him upfield. And um, and basically, that's always been Problem's MO. One of the best, to me, one of the best concepts in all of football. It's basically mesh when you actually think about it in the way that, in the way that, that route works. He's finding grass, right? He's coming over here. There's a defender sitting over here, so he's going to playmaker him right up in here. All right, gunwing trio weak. And this is this simple wheel route, right? And then he's going to throw Moss on that streak. It's a very good route con on concept because you can look here. And then if they're man-to-man, -man, you've got the wheel route over here. And then you've got that underneath crosser. You see problems able to hit that right there. Great read by him. And he's moving, moving and grooving right now towards the end of the first half. Real quick, guys, if you would like to take your game to the next level, be sure to join my Discord. And here you see Problem try to force that. The Discord link is in the description of this video. But here you see Problem. And, and, and this right here, drags wide open. Drags wide open. Just trying to force it up top. Don't like that at all. Again, discipline, discipline, discipline as a passer. I want to see Problem take that. Use his great user ability to uh, get out of there. And here. And that, I just don't like that read right there. Like, that does you no good. And now you've got a scramble to get back to the line of scrimmage. And it looks like he should go to that PA wide receiver pay. Yep, got 15 seconds here. He knows he's got one play and throws it incomplete. I think he's got one more play here if he wants it because he's got that one timeout. Great job by Problem there to protect that timeout and not use that because, again, he knows that's his field goal timeout. It actually ends up bringing up fourth down, so he's going to take his field goal. And he's going to go into half 6 to uh, 10 here. Skimbo is just going to send those four vertical routes out. But Problem's got, I mean, Skimbo ends up making a crazy catch. But Problem ends up taking care of business on that defensive stop. Got the halftime show here. We're going to go ahead and skip through this. A couple of conversations with the competitors. And we should be ready to lock in here. Yep, locking in. So Problem does get ball out of half. Which... You know, Skimbo came out looking really, really sharp in that first possession. You see how quickly a game can flip in Madden. And so it's so important to manage your emotions. You see the focus on both of these guys. But here, problem right there, that drag wide open and go. And he's out. And that's where I'm saying you don't have to run a lot of plays. You don't have to do a lot of different things. If you've got two to three plays that you can master, you really have an option. I mean, you really set yourself up nice because problem if if he just stays in this tight like 
I think that tight has been really working for him. That PA seams play, he's got that nice little fade, um, little outside kind of inverted streak on the right side. He can work that combination pretty consistently. Again, you know, Skimbo's sitting in DB fire too. I mean, Skimbo's not going to not... Again, these guys are kind of robots, right? They've learned what they need to do. They've learned their masterful setups. And so Skimmo's probably not going to shift, right? He's probably going to sit in this for a long time. You watch here. Watch. Just cover two. Straight up cover two. Problem hits the seam. Good user catch by problem. Oops. Missed up with that. So problem now goes into... Here's first 10. There's that drag. And I'm telling you guys, that drag's been so wide open. So wide open. Here, problem's just going to come down into a, into a pro set, running set, three-headed rushing attacks type of set here for second and inches. Goes down to I-form tight. Again, I-form tight wasn't just good in Madden uh, 20, right? It's been good for years. But he's going to just try to pop this little power run play here just to get a first down and is able to do that. He's back into snugs. Like I said, you're going to see that PA seams. Here he's going to go down into snugs, and he's trying to hit bench concept. He's got two streaks. He's got one wide open, just misses him. The pressure gets in, and it's like literally inches, inches, um, seconds, right? He's got the streak right here, and that vertical hook doesn't stay with him. And you see here, Skimbo's user takes that drag, and that's what we're talking about, about just right at the right time. Skimbo's able to play a little chess with him and takes that drag instead of going to the street because the problem's been taking the drag, taking the drag, taking the drag. Now Skimbo takes that away, and now what do you do if your problem? You got a guy wide open and does him come back and hit him really good out of the compression. You see here that compression streak right over the middle against that cover two defense. Again, that's just very, very simple, um, very, very simple passing concept, but very, very effective. All right, Skimbo coming back on offense now. His pressure's on him, right, because he's down one possession. And he's coming out, and he's – and I just don't know if I like this call, but he's going to come out and run just straight-up verticals. I mean, he's running three streaks in a wheel. And, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one Deion Sanders, Randy Moss. You know, I just – I don't know about that one. Don't know about that read. I think Skimbo was just frustrated a little bit. But I did not like that. I did not like that call. So here, I want to see him get back in the corner strike. Because you run this against Problem. Like, Problem's going to eat this alive. And he knows it's coming. Because of Skimbo's motion, Problem knows it's coming. He can click on. And to me, that should have been a pick. But basically, Skimbo's trying to get that swerve on. Trying to get that rocket catch over the top. But Problem's got really good, really, really good corners. And see, now you see Skimbo goes back into the the basics, the fundamentals that got him there. And now prom has got an opportunity, but he waited two downs to do that. Now you've got a fourth and two. I just don't like that play call by Skimbo. But again, you know, there's a reason I'm sitting here and Skimbo is a champion, but I just, I'm telling you, everybody can get better. And you watch these games, you see little mistakes, little things that they can do better every single time, even when they win. Right. So again, it's all about getting better here. Got that quick flat route taken away, but he's got that inside drag coming back. Now watch this play. Real, watch this play back real quick. Watch Problem's user. See how he's going to the streak there? I think that's just crazy by Problem. Problem is trying to take this away. Because again, he's been running this, running this, running this, running this, right? And I think I actually skipped ahead here. But you see, pro, um, we're on this key, this key fourth down. Let me get back. Let me get back just a little bit here. I want to break this down. All right, so so right here, if you watch, at the snap of the ball, he's running corner strike. So he's got this C route. If, if Problem's in a hard flat out here, he can throw that C route. Problem has to be in a cloud flat, I think, if I remember correctly. Williams is running this little shoot flat route, and Problem is going to take him away by manning this guy up on him. What's going to leave open is it's going to leave this right side of the field because the blitz is coming from this side right here, right? This guy's blitzing, and then these four guys are all blitzing. You've got this guy in a cloud flat to stop the corner strike, and now you've got to figure out what you're going to take with these three people to stop a streak, an underneath, and a drag. So snap of the ball here. You see there's your streak, there's your underneath, there's your little um, underneath and round. Now at the snap of the ball, 
You see here, the man up is going to take away Ricky Williams. This guy, he drops into a little zone here to try to take this drag away. He's got this covered. He's got the pressure coming off. Problem's job and problem's head is to take the streak away and then to come back down. So he's going to go up here and then he's going to come down onto B. But that yellow zone just doesn't take away that drag. And Skimbo's able to hit it. All right, first and 10 now. So see, Skimbo's going to come out. And again, I just don't like this. Like, problem has stopped us every single time. Skimbo's going to throw another deep streak. And this time, I mean, it's not even close, right? Deion Sanders had the overtop leverage. Just not even there by any, any stretch of the imagination. And uh, Skimbo is able to lock in. Or problem's able to get the pick. So now problem's up three. So he's up one possession with ball if problem goes down and gets a touchdown here like it's going to be really really hard for skimmer to come back so it gets a little bit of a shed here again problem had that drag wide open you know and again you watch these back of course you can see that but watch right here drag wide open drag wide open it's like why are you trying to me problems trying to get that home run shot and it's killing him right now on offense Take those underneath. If there's one thing you learn about this, and this is going to be Madden 20, I'm 21, I guarantee you. Here he goes to this little PA cross shot play. So they're literally going to cross, right? Scissors action. And problem just, I just don't like that read at all. Like to me, that was just a really bad possession. You see the frustration on Skimbo's face. He thinks he should have got a pick. But to me, just a terrible possession. Because, again, you got, you come off the interception, and I think Problem's thinking, you know, Skimbo's going to play really aggressive, so I'm going to go after the streaks. But it's like, you keep yourself, work the ball up and down the field. Work it up and down the field. So here, there's that clear out play. Again, Pro, he's trying to hit that little fade route right over the top. And here, you're going to see he's able to hit it. And, again, this has been, you see, this is cross man. This play right here is, is just straight. Watch Problem's defense. He's going to take this deep safety because Demarius Thomas has been on a streak most of the game. He's taking this guy and cross manning him up against him, and you'll just, it's just a, it's just a matter of speed. Demarius Thomas has more speed than his guy, and Skimbo is able to hit it over the top. So there, Skimbo goes up one possession, and Problem does what Problem does here on the kick return. So there you see their their streak. Skimbo also had that zig or a little underneath uh, crossing in route. And then you'll see right here, Problem is going to do what Problem does on the kickoff. This has been Problem's MO. Skimbo even tries to kick it away from him. But you'll see here, gets that lead blocker, and you're going to see Problem's just going to spin. And he's out. And he's got a reservation for six. This is what Problem did all through the tournament. His special teams game was just top notch. And now he's up three, up one possession. Skimbo's got an opportunity now to come back out. He almost breaks it. If he comes right through that middle there, he probably gets out of there. But uh, let's jump into uh, Skimbo action on offense. It goes through the corner strike. And there, you see, if you look back at it, problem actually kind of lives in a little bit of a half world here. You see, I think Skimbo could have hit this corner right over the top. I think he misses it. But... Um, Yep, problem just comes down, plays, lays the lumber on him, and we're going to go into the fourth quarter. I'm going to scoot ahead here just a little bit, save us some time. But guys, be sure to join the Discord if this video was helpful. Again, my channel is devoted to helping you improve in Madden. I do that through several different ways, but one of the ways I do that is through breaking down top level competition and showing what we can learn year in and year out from them. So here, this is the corner strike setup right here. He's got this little flat. He's going to be able to hit this flat if he wants it right here. You see this little animation. Problem's able to get some really good pressure at him. But he's got that flat. Skimbo reads it, and he's able to get up for a good quick six. Again, when Skimbo runs the underneath, when he takes the underneath routes, it forces Problem to have to play a specific type of defense to take that away, which is then going to open up the vertical setup. And here, Skimbo's, Skimbo's mission on third one is to pick up the first down. He's going to run knowing that he's going to go for it on fourth down if he has to. So he's just trying to pick it up here with Ricky Williams. You see there, Problem gets a nice block shed. He's able to get the stop. So now Skimbo's going for it on fourth and two on his own 32. And to me, if Skimbo doesn't get this, it's a big deal. 
but you'll see here pressure this is should go to corner strike he's going to go to corner strike with the streak set up now he's got the crossman on him he just checks down to that ricky williams route and that route was so tough to take take handle and you see um if you actually watch back here So right here, watch watch uh, this safety here. You see this linebacker, instead of having him manned up on Ricky Williams, problem drops him to his own. I'd like to see him manned up. But, uh, and then you see, obviously, Skimbo is able to hit it and, uh, and and work it up the field. Because, again, you got to know that corner strike setup's coming on fourth, and, uh, on fourth down. All right, first and ten. You should see verticals here. Yep. See how Skimbo mixes this in? And he's just mixing this in to keep problem honest. Puts him on a fade on the motion out. Snap of the ball. And you should see there going over the top. And act the crap out of him. You see right there the facial expression. Problem had a guy in the vicinity right there. And even over top coverage. And Randy Moss just made a huge play. And you see the frustration. Because problem thinks he's got a pick. Skimbo was able just to get that 50-50 ball with that aggressive catch. And, you know, sometimes those 50-50 balls can go either way. Now, snap the ball here. Corner strike setup again. Got that little out route. Motion brings him out. Throws it away. Good read by Skimbo to get rid of the ball. Now, again, if you're asking me, that play on that last one was a bad read by Skimbo. But here he goes right over the top and is able to hit Jimmy Graham. But just misses, just misses him right over the top here. You see just a little shoot route. And problems running man-to-man -man coverage. The only problem is he's manning him up with a defensive lineman or a linebacker. And Jimmy Graham's just able to shoot right up the seam. And Skimbo just doesn't get his feet in. Now he's got third down and 10. Now again, he's tied the game, right? But if you're Skimbo, you really want to go up by two possessions or by one possession. So here you see there, and that is just a really, really unfortunate thing that just happened right there. So if you watch, you know, third and ten, and what problem is going to do, because he's trying, you see that right there, that corner strike setup, and this is what is, this is why I like to motion out. This interception right here is why I personally like to motion out. Watch, watch what happens. They press Jimmy Graham on a streak. That guy presses him, which is going to cause this guy to delay just a, just a slight delay. And you see right in there, Problem's able to get the pick. And now it looks like Problem is in full control of this game, as you can see by the fan reaction, facial expression. Skimbo thinks he's got the game lost, but he's still got three minutes. You see right there, just that little rub gets him caught up. And I don't know why I don't know why Skimbo threw that. I think his timing was just thrown off just a little bit. That's why interrupting the timing of your opponent really does matter. You should see Problem go down into the uh, to the under, uh, to the underneath runs here to work some clock. Skimbo still has three timeouts, 320. But if Problem can get a first down or two, this game could be sealed. But you see here, this just little this little rub right here just slows everything down. Skimbo timing screwed up. And Skimbo doesn't adjust on the fly because, again, Skimbo is a robot. And for the better and the worse of that. See there, the, the giveaway battle right now. Problems winning that. You see that underneath, little underneath in route. Always open against zone. Problems able to hit it. And, again, when you see these guys take the underneath, 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 it truly makes such a big difference. So now Problem gets the first down. He's working the clock here. He's trying to take as much clock as he possibly can off the ball because, again, he doesn't want to give Skimbo the ball back. Problems mentally trying to get out of here without Skimbo touching the ball again. Quick little run, nothing open against that DB Fire 2 press. Was so effective against both the run and the pass in that year's game. If this was Madden 20, you would have to have a specific defense to stop the run and a specific defense to stop the pass. But again, problem taking as much clock as he can. And now he's taking it all the way down to the two-minute warning. Comes out, just runs the ball right out of the chute there. So he's ran the ball, ran the ball. Now he's in a third and long. That's why I don't really like the decisions to run the ball because of the fact that Skimmer has the three timeouts. I want to see the underneath passing because the underneath has been wide open all game. Here he hits a zig. Skimbo's able to do a little RB strip. And now Skimbo's got the ball back for, for a game-winning drive. But literally, problem is going to back him up almost to the one, but gets him backed all the way to the 20-yard line now. 
Skippo's gonna have to come out and gun bunch. Now I want to show you here, corner strike. When the chips are down the, when the chips are on the line, and and everything's going, you're gonna see Skimbo is going to be precise with these reads. You can't teach this. You just have to build this skill over time. Skimbo's focusing on the task at hand, mastering his reads. Not really thinking. I mean, obviously he's got the clock in the back of his mind. The fact that he's got three timeouts, but he is just focused on executing corner strike at an elite level. So here you see that motion out corner. Snap of the ball, you got the drag, checks down to the drag, because again, problem is manning up that running back to take that away. The drag is then wide open and behind it. And Skimbo has, you know, done a great job with the clock management here. And you're gonna see elite clock management on this drive right here. But right here, Skimbo's saying mentally, he's starting to think, okay, what do I got? Ran quarter strike twice. Now what you're gonna see is he's gonna go to the verticals play. I think John honestly, just to see if he can get a hit over the top. And what you'll see here, this is that verticals play we all love. There's the cross man again. Problem cross man's him again because he's got a little bit more space now. The speed of the wide receiver is going to allow him to get over the top. Skimbo is going to do that one on one aggressive catch. And he has got the touchdown. Huge, huge route. Look at that route. Just a simple streak route, but he gets him over the top and cover one or cover zero bail. And. Skimbo is able to go up 24 to 20. Now the pressure is all on problem. He's got three timeouts. He's got to go score a touchdown. And problem has, uh, again, to me, that the decision to run the ball when you had been able to move the ball through the air the majority of the game, but you hadn't really been able to run the ball at a high level, wish we would have seen problem pass the ball. I think he wishes he would have passed the ball. But here you'll see, um, so first and 10, snap of the ball. Skimbo screaming again problems trying to hit these streak, three streaks but Skimbo's backing everybody off and he's basically forcing problem to have to work the ball on the field he's got the PA cross shot play takes the drag route there gets up field good read take a timeout and you see the pressure is on problem right now now on this play right here you're gonna see problems gonna go to a uh, his version of corner strike which is a little shoot route to the back See here, corner strike on both sides. And he's just going to shoot that little shoot route right there to the running back, try to break a tackle, gets up, gets about 10 yards, call timeout. Yep. And now you're going to see him go back to his New Orleans compression set. Again, two of the best Madden players of all time going head to head. And uh, this really is where Skimbo kind of gets over the hump to me. Um, but you'll see right here, little shoot, little drag, and Skimbo's okay with that, right? You know, Skimbo's okay with that because now Problem's only got 25 seconds. He's got one timeout, and Problem mentally, you can see his facial expression. He's trying to focus in here, lock in, but like, just don't have the plays. Doesn't have the route combinations to be able to get to where he wants to get to on the field. It's really about the fact that Skimbo's not going to make a mistake here, going with some pressure. And here you see him go to his five wide set out of New Orleans. And you see right here, he's got two streaks and a deep out route. Basically, problem saying, I want to run everybody off with my streaks, take this deep route route, get myself just a little bit closer to set myself up. He gets the possession catch on the sideline. Now he's got 11 seconds. He's got two plays, right? He could throw a post route over the middle, take a timeout if he wants to, or he could try two shots at the end zone. But it's, you know, right here, this is looking... This is where Skimbo is really going to lock in. If I'm Skimbo, I am literally just taking everybody up and backing them all up. He's going man up three deep. See, there's that out route. He should have hit that right there. Yep. And he gets the possession catch again. Problems just saying, I'm going to try to get as close as I can. Now I got 20 yards, set myself up here. Trying to, he's going to try to come out probably PA wider. So he ran, hit the post route, the wheel route, or whatever. And we'll see what he comes up with here. Six seconds. He's got three. He does still have two plays. If he throws it quick, if he throws like a quick slant or something, he can hit this. But you see here, it takes time. He's got he's got him wide, but uh, Skip was able to knock it out. And he's got one more play here. And this is for this is for the bread. Goes to same spot shake. I don't know why he calls this one other than just the fact that he got the streaks here. This one, the streak delays. Tries to hit that running back wheel. Skimbo's got it locked up, and Skimbo takes the title 
of the Madden 17 champion. This leads Skimbo on a run to really um, cement himself as one of the best players of all time, if not the best player of all time, and certainly the best bunch player of all time. Now, again, guys, what I wanted you to take away from this video is I want you to know that part of being a great passer is all about taking your check down reads. It's all about taking your check down reads. Another part about being a, a great passer is being able to adapt on the fly, being able to handle when you throw a pick, being able to come back and still have that gunslinger mentality to throw with confidence. Those are little things that are so difficult to do. One of the big takeaways for me for, from Skimbo's gameplay and from even Problem, watching Problem on offense, is you don't have to have a lot of different setups. You could run a couple of simple setups. If you execute them better than everybody else, it's going to make your offense better. So focus on simplifying a little bit. Get the lock, lock in on what you actually need to run to beat most defenses and master that, master that, master that, master that. That's what you saw when Skimbo, at, at the end of the day, Skimbo basically ran two plays. He ran verticals and corner strike, and he ran them a couple different ways, but those were the nuts and bolts of his offensive scheme that won him a literal belt, thousands of dollars, and I think the same can be true for you. So what did you take away from this video? Let me know. You could shoot me a, a, a text. My number is 812-216-3644. And for those of you that really enjoyed this video and want to find future videos and stay up to date with the latest Madden 21 content that we're going to be bringing out on our channel, make sure that you join my Discord. And if you're really looking to take your game to the next level, I want to encourage you to consider picking up my competitive guide. That is Madden 20 and Madden 21 competitive guide. We update it every single week. We're going to be updating it. The first week Madden 21 comes out with all Madden 21 new content for you you're gonna get a free upgrade if you buy that today really appreciate all the support I haven't had a bad review yet in fact one of the guys said it's the best $25 that he has spent so uh, if you're looking to get better that is another way to do it but we're gonna continue the conversation in our next video you can check out my how to get ready for Madden 21 playlist where I am giving you guys tips and tricks on how you can actually go about practically preparing yourself to get ready for Madden 21 launch we will see you guys in the next video.